Initially, the initially from Rimi, Dato, you mentioned uh, about uh, the concept of Rahmatan uh, Alamin. I, I understand it on the surface of Yes. It. So, uh, you, you mentioned the concepts of which um, the Sharia enforcement, uh, especially when, when doing all the kalwat rates and all, and you mentioned Pengintipan as part of Rahmatan Alamin. Could you elaborate? No, I did not say that. Mm. I did not say Pengintipan as part of Rahmatan Lil Alamin. Please, uh, mm -hmm. did I say that? No. Did I say that? <laughs> uh, but I noted you saying... No, no, no. no. Did you notice I said that, the others? No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> My dear, I said, when you want to make any form of penguatkuasaan, there are issues about you have to, to know whether that really takes place or not. So, this is maknanya... This is what I mean by pengintipan. In order for you to do that, you must be very careful. How do you be very careful? You must have a very <coughs> solid information. Because we do not want to be a peeping tom. That was my point. So based on this compassionate Islam, you have to have a very strong procedural uh, before you can uh, do such rate. This is what it means. Okay. Not just get them yeah, and you get the, the information and straight away you commit to, to, to the rate. But you must remember, even at present today, they are SOP. At present today, they are SOP. We are looking into improving it so that all these uh, issues about penguatkuasaan must have a solid evidence and must have also a good ground whether it encroach to the public spheres in, in terms of their worries that it will encroach to their uh, the, the public spheres. That was what I meant. So, uh, I think the, the, the issue now is... Very Please very correct that one. Huh? Yeah, okay. Uh, which is why I asked you to elaborate. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, so, uh, where earlier you mentioned in the roundtable discussion, um, just to get it a bit more clear, you kept mentioning that there must be a demarcation between uh, the public sphere and the private sphere. And also, uh, what was essentially reported um, by the newspaper previously was that you also mentioning the same, we must know the, the yes, case of yes, a private yeah. and public space. So, I in that sense, how does the <laughs> Kalwat rate play out? Like, uh, you know, if, if it's something that's happening behind one's closed door, isn't that a private sphere? Well, so that how, could, how do you explain that? It's a bit confusing. It is not confusing. It is something that you have to be very deliberate about it. For example, the whole idea and philosophy of what we are talking today in terms of enforcement through the authority. When you want to enforce something on the moral values, you have to be very wary and concerned. Sama ada perbuatan itu dibuat dalam dia punya private space atau dia dibuat dalam public space. Now your question. It makes it very clear. It is very clear. What you do in your private space, it is not of our concern in terms of me as the government. You as a Muslim, if you see your neighbor do something bad, then that is your 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 your, your responsibility to advise your neighbor. I'm talking on my side as the authority. How do you define this private uh, space is encroached into the public one? It can be in many forms. If you are living in a taman, then you have one house which for so many consistent times seem to be committing something wrong. The neighbor feel, don't feel good about it. And the whole community don't feel good about it because it encroaches into their children, their family, in terms of that little house that they saw as their neighbor is doing something wrong. Okay? So they go to the officers and make complaints. And when they do that, that's this SOP that comes in. They're going to check, tengok betul ke? Atau this guy is just, uh, dia sorang saja. Orang lain tak ada hal pun. Ataupun dia sorang saja nak menimbulkan masalah. Hal tak ada pun. So these are the question yang kita tak boleh take things easy. And this is what it means. Okay? But uh, if you do it in your private home, which is to my standard is, is wrong, 
Tapi no complain And uh, orang tak bising ke apa There's, there's nothing wrong with my jurisdiction there So basically Dato' to put it uh, clearly mm. uh, Me as, as a person of, of a faith And I'm talking about a Muslim eh? Correct, uh, mm. like me as a Muslim of I am not for the mm. situation that you gave uh, When I see something is wrong I, uh, Me as a, as a Muslim, I bring it to the attention of the authority No, that's not the final resort Yeah, but that's not the final resort You have to give okay. advice first Tell to you whatever you see that is wrong Say this is not good, you are doing something wrong and if you have already used up all the effort on your personal self and you think that if this continues will encroach into the public space then only you come and talk to us and we don't just go and say okay let's go uh, yeah, there are some certain issues that we have to check and this is the thing that we are improving it so that it doesn't really open a floodgate for any enforcement officer to do with their whips and their wands just because someone come and yeah. give complaint. Now, this is what we are trying to do here. Could to you elaborate to what is the current SOP you use when it comes to this kind of matter? Because you mentioned in the roundtable discussion yeah. that these things are not so many. Have yes, to yes, to definitely. Can you tell us what is the current SOP? Uh, the current SOP on the whole, if I can recall uh, for Jawi, which is in, Jav in Wilayah Puskuta, which is under me, uh, other states I, I don't have any yeah. authority to talk about. Uh, for Jawi, for example, they start off with the SOP, you have to have a complaint. Uh, it's here and very long. Okay. You would like to read it later if you want to spend your time reading it. But I will just give a, a, a very, uh, you know, conclusive one. The idea is any report that comes to the authority must first be investigated. Investigated. Hang on, I've not finished yet the SOP. Must be investigated. When it is being investigated, they would have to have a warrant before they can knock on the door. After all that has been fully and thoroughly investigated, where well, there is something going on there. You have to have a warrant before you can uh, come in. And there is also the standard of op operation on how do you uh, how do you uh, how do you carry out that duty minta nama minta ic and issue ceroboh masuk tendang pintu pecah pintu itu is not in the sop the it sop never been there all this while. if it was then it is miscarried of, of duty that's that is my concern but in as i said as as, as far as this is concerned as far as the sop is concerned Nothing is stated that you can do at your whips and wands because all these have been regulated and has a source of authority, especially a warrant to come in and inspect, just like any other. And you, you do not do it just uh, by your pengak kuasa agama. The police have to come together. And in order to get that, it's not easy. Ah, So this is how it is being carried out. So you can read this piece later. And it's a long one. We are trying to improve that technicality. Oh, sorry, I'll give you a question. Yes. No, I'll give you that. Okay, Raza, I'll give you later. Going back to public and private spaces, so a lot of the kawat raids are being carried out in Kuchan, which some may argue is like a private space. So will there be reforms in the uh, in Jaki in terms of carrying out these uh, kawat raids, or will it, be, will it still be done? Or? I have just mentioned just now the issue is to improve the SOP you don't just read at any time you want okay that's number one it's not just like okay let's go all must come through a very solid information and uh, of course you have to have a warrant when you have a warrant you have to have permission to get in and that is uh, the technicalities that we uh, would want to improve but then again, as I told you, you must remember all over the country, the Penguat Kosa has a very limited enforcement officers. Very limited. So they wouldn't have all the time they want to go just because they, they want to check and uh, read uh, the hotel room or whatever. And there's another issue. Sometimes it has always been, uh, been said that Khalwat rate only goes to the cheap budget hotel. 
Why? Because the cheap budget hotel is not the protected. Well, the five star hotel, you can't just come in and uh, you know do all the rates. For me, that is a non-issue. Whether it's five star or you have, uh, is a budget hotel, and as long as the SOP is there with strong evidence, there is no demarcation between five star hotels or the budget hotel. But would you not consider like being in a hotel room as a private? Again, it's not my decision to say that it's private. I consider that private. But if there is any case that encroach to the to the to the public, ada mungkin ketentraman di situ terganggu atau apa, then that is why I said the importance of private and public space is very must be very very clear. On the debate whether hotel is a private or not, it's not the issue. This is very clear. Private, we don't go. But whether that private encroach to the public spheres, or worst case, my dear, there are incidents where uh, halwat rate is used to um, tarnish one is one's image. That is worse. That is why this technicality is so important that we want to prevent it from being misused. Okay, satu soalan lagi. Yes, Razak. Uh, I just want to be clear, <coughs> all these uh, suggestions on how to further improve the Tata Chara procedures and enforcement and that sort of Once they are agreed, I think for Jakim, uh, for Wilaya will be under your jurisdiction, okay, but for the state, state yeah. they will still have to go through the respective uh, yes. procedures by the yeah. states. Yeah, la. agreed. That's one. Yeah. And if you could elaborate on that. Secondly, in your, in your speech, uh, opening speech, you urged Everybody in the audience, uh, I'm assuming you were addressing to them as judges, to speak out and support this concept of Ramadan Bil Alamin. And you said, you, when you don't speak up, you get hijacked. Could you elaborate on that point? Thank you very much, Razak. Uh, the first point you mentioned is about the um, the state. We understand very well the Islamic administration falls under the jurisdiction of the state which falls under the authority of the king the sultan and eh? the palace this is where i think the issue of negotiations and advice and good relationship with the state and in as long as the state is under the federal government it would be more easy for us to engage with them i have been in 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 a very engaging mode with the state in regards to the uh, islamic administration by meeting all the royals and presenting to them the new policy of the government and asking them how the royal can help us into synchronizing the issue of Islamic administrative, uh, which includes this issue about uh, sabat, hukuman jenayah, sharia, about penguatkuasaan, which I can assure you the palace has been in a very good cooperation and the state level has been in a very good cooperation with the federal based on negotiations and based on respect to each other boundaries but i can't force them that's definitely on your question about the issue of uh, urging all the judges and the participant on the general to support this idea what i meant was to uh, to to say to the public that do not let the narrow-minded dogmatic interpretation of Islam dictates the public. When people like judges, academicians, esteem and distinguish person who has uh, uh, credit to their knowledge speak about this, I think then the, the society will respect. Uh, this is what I mean. Uh, this is the, the, the new idea that we are going to push forward so that this Rahmatan Lil Alamin is accepted based on their conviction that this is the best practice of Islam as been showed by the Prophet, peace be upon him. Okay, okay. 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 last, last, eh? last, sebab kena pergi yes. Ada MOU. Uh, lepas ni pengawasan hanya melalui SOP dan orang kata kalau sebelum ni pun SOP. Ya, tapi tak sekarang uh, yang dikatakan oleh Datuk tadi bila ada apa aduan hmm. kan. Uh, adakah bererti maksudnya operasi yang khas maksudnya dalam apa yang Valentine Day mereka itu semua dah tidak boleh buat. Yang itu saya tidak sentuh langsung. 
dan saya tak nak sentuh benda itu saya hanya bercakap tentang perlunya kita mengawal tindak tanduk penguatkuasaan itu first based on public spheres based on uh, private spheres dan second is based on a very strong SOP so that it it will not be exploited and misused you are talking about specific things I, I, I don't want to worry into it thank you very much